Okay, now we'll again learn to create uh, the clustered column chart by using the pivot table which was previously created by uh, using this data table. Now first let's uh, repeat the process and get the pivot data by using our if statement if column is j47 equals 0 then empty otherwise j47 that's great now control r and control d here you are and copy this control c to control v and we have this our data all right now let's select the range go to insert one and press the chart here we have our chart press ctrl x go to tutorial dashboard and paste it here there we are now we have created our cluster chart and let's uh, format it okay to format it first delete the chart title select the outer part go to the fill section go no fill no line select the inner outlay no fill no line select these inner lines press delete now change the font color to white increase the size to 14 okay now select this one increase it to 16 all right color to mean that increase it again to 14 change this color to hot okay the next part is to select it go to access section the number select it to currency decimal places keep it two and we have already the dollar sign all right now select this section go to the fill tab say no fill no line and also select no fill no line for this axis all right that's perfectly great now color these bars actually we will use the solid colors for them as we have previously used gradient color uh, in the whole dashboard but to use the gradient color over here will be a much more cluster uh, in it to because that will add much more cluster so that we will use solid fill here let's choose blue color Set the transparency to 50%. Alright. Uh, for the second one, we use the soil color. Set the purple. Set the transparency to 25%. Okay, that's fine. For the orange bars, soil color. Again, set the transparency to 50. Uh, sorry, the 25%. Great. Okay, now for the lowest bar select them solid fill give it a green color make it color. you can use your own combinations uh, definitely and let us read the option we make the gap width to around 50 percent make them a bit larger and series overlap up to around 45 percent here we are and then a little bit further now uh, here add a white solid line so we could have a clear boundary for every so is white again and then solid line this one is white again and for the green ones solid line it's like the color white Okay, that's that's perfect. We have